Hello, second graders. Welcome to grammar class with me, Ms. Taylor. Today, we're going to do a little bit more practice with conjugating action verbs. Now, you will remember, hopefully, last week, um, Ms. Lund was teaching us about conjugating. And what we mean by conjugating is um, that means that we will choose a verb and say it for different tenses. So we're going to choose a verb, and we know that a word is a verb if someone or something can do it. It's an action verb, if someone or something can do it. And so if I have this pen here, let's see, can someone or something pen? No. Uh, can someone or something write with a pen? Yes. So I could use the word write as our action verb. And then what we're going to do is think about, oh, how do I say write? I'm going to write right now. Oh, I write. I write. You write. He, she, it writes. So something we practiced last week is that when we do the he, she, it part, we have to add an S. And then we have the plural. You write. We write. They write. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> All right. So, all right. Lots of rights. We are going to practice just a little bit today, and then we'll have a kind of a little Google form to do to see if we remember about conjugating. So, again, our goal for today is to practice conjugating action verbs. That means we will choose a verb and say it for different tenses. So, when we conjugate, we've kind of been using this little form, and this is also in our grammar packet. So last week, you had a couple verbs that you did right here in our grammar packet. And we have kind of a little form that we like to use in second grade, and it looks like this. And on your paper or in your packet, it looks kind of like this. So you did a couple of these activities last week, a couple of these pages. And so what we're going to do is we're going to choose a verb, and then we're going to think about, ooh, present tense right now. How do I say it? Past tense, we can think about yesterday, or future tense, and we could think of that as like tomorrow. So it is just about, for Ms. Taylor today, it is just about lunchtime. So I know a verb that I am thinking about is the word eat, because I'm getting quite hungry. So let's think about the word eat. All right, so present tense, right now, I eat. Past tense, yesterday, I ate. Future tense, tomorrow, I will eat. So anytime we're talking about the future, we add the word will. So the future could be uh, five minutes from now, or it could be two years from now. Any time that hasn't happened yet is the future. So I will eat. Hopefully I will eat soon, because my stomach is growling. Okay, so... Now what we're going to do is think about how do we say the word eat for different people. I eat, right? Do you eat? What about he, she, it? Do you remember what we have to add to it? Yeah. And then we have the plural form. Whoops, there we go. And, oh, Ms. Taylor is kind of in the way here. Can I move my little picture out of the way? Because we've got a little cha-cha-cha we have to do. There we go. Okay, so we have I eat, you eat, he, she, it eats, we eat, you eat, they eat. Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> nice job. So that is the present tense. That means right now. Right now we can do all of these things. I eat, you eat, he, she, it, eats. Did you remember that S? So we have a little arrow here to help us remember. This is the one that gets a little tricky. All these other ones are the same. I eat, you eat, we eat, you eat, they eat. But this one with he, she, or it, we have to add that S. So that's kind of the tricky part. What about the past tense? So past tense, we can think of that as like yesterday. Yesterday, I, hmm, do I say I eated? Because a lot of times when we're doing the past tense, we can add ed. And ed is ed, d, t, past tense ending. But with this word, 
the word eat, it is not just a regular verb. It's something called an irregular verb. And sometimes we have to change the spelling. And this is one of those words where we're going to change the spelling. So we would say, I ate. This is yesterday. Yesterday, I ate. Or it could be five minutes ago, I ate. You ate. He, she, it ate. Now you'll notice here, we don't need to add an ES. We ate. Mm. You ate. They ate. Cha cha cha. Ah, cha cha cha. Mm, I wonder what they ate. Maybe chocolate cake. Mm. All right. And then we have one more thing to think about is the future tense. And future tense, we can think about, about that as any time that hasn't happened yet. So maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow, I. I could eat. Hmm. I should eat. I will eat. I will. So anytime we're talking about the future, we add the word will. I will eat. You will eat. He, she, it will eat. We will eat. You will eat. They will eat. Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. So anytime you want to talk about the future, we're going to add the word will. I will eat. And if it's confusing, you could think about tomorrow. I like to put the word tomorrow in front. Tomorrow, I will eat. Okay, so second graders, great job conjugating action verbs. So today we practice just a little bit. We practice conjugating verbs. And that means choosing a verb and saying it in different ways for different tenses. And tenses just means present, past, or future. It's kind of a word that means when something happens. What's the tense? When does that happen? So for today, your assignment is going to be just a little online assignment, just a little Google form with five questions. And it's going to ask you a little bit more about conjugating. So you're going to finish the little Google form about conjugating. And then, like Ms. Lund mentioned last week, I would encourage you to do some conjugating, cha 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 around your house. So if someone in your family says an action verb, try to conjugate it. So let's see. Perhaps if someone in your house says um, the word dance, you could say I dance, you dance, he, she, it dances. Cha-cha-cha. You dance. No. We dance, you dance, they dance. Cha-cha-cha. Present tense. Let's see. Past tense. I danced, you danced, he, she, it danced. We danced, you danced, they danced. Cha-cha-cha. Future tense. I will dance, you will dance, he, she, it will dance. We will dance, you will dance, they will dance. Cha-cha-cha. All right, so nice job conjugating, students. So remember, you're going to complete the little Google form, five questions about conjugating, and then you're going to conjugate some more around your house. All right. Have a great day, second grade scholars, and I will see you again soon. Bye.